we're going to have a look at those year-over-year -year Aurora numbers. We're going to have a look at what happened a year ago uh, in June 2022. We'll take a peek at what happened in the current month, and then we'll uh, we'll see how the market's trending. We'll have a look at May as well. So the number of sales in Aurora across all home types a year ago uh, was 69. And again, that's inclusive of condos and semis and towns and links and everything. May 2023, we had 102 uh, sales through the month. And in June 23, 85. So we did see a dip. And that's pretty consistent with with every town, at least the ones I'm I'm tracking doing these market update videos um, across the GTA. Average sale price, again, across all home types, $1,466,000 uh, in June 22. May 23, we had $1,418,000 and currently trending at $1,399,000. Now, you have to remember in a place like Aurora, you have massive multi-million dollar. You have uh, homes, you have horse farms, you have, um, you know, high density residential condos townhouses stack condo townhouses so predominantly what's selling that month is going to pull that number around so i always say take that number with a grain of salt but i mean overall in a lot of the adjacent towns we have seen that price pop up but there are a couple towns where the pricing uh, stayed the same or or actually went down uh year over year but overall i would say you know if you look at the overall trend the trend is up um the snlr is the sales to new listings ratio tells us out of the homes coming on the market each month What's the percentage of them that are selling? And this is how we determine whether it is a buyer's or a seller's market. So a year ago, 40% um, of the homes that came on the market in Aurora sold. 63% of the homes that came on the market sold in, um, in May. Now, uh, that would be indicative, anything over 60% would be indicative of a um, seller's market. So there's more demand than there is supply. Uh, currently trending at 55%, which would tell us it's a balanced market. So there's enough supply to meet the demand out there. Months of inventory remaining, 2.7 months of uh, inventory remaining a year ago, 1.1 uh, in May 23. So not a lot of inventory left like this tells us that if no other listings came on the market after today at the current rate of buying how long would it take to deplete the inventory so a month of inventory not a whole lot out there it did pop up to 1.4 basically what happened from may to june is we saw relatively the same number of listings came out but sales declined so of course that inventory hanging around puffed up a bit and so we're seeing a little bit more inventory there um, sale price to list price ratio uh 98 of asking sold a year ago uh, May 106.2, currently trending at, let me move myself here, currently trending at 106.3. Now, I've said in all my videos, this is something that is highly, highly um, overstated right now. There is so many houses out there that are actually underpriced to the actual true market value or what the intended um, sale price would be or what the expectation is. So, you know, I wouldn't be paying a lot of attention to the average uh, or sorry, to the sale price list price ratio right now. I mean, I still do get, you know, calls from people and talk to people every day and they're like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe this house sold for three hundred thousand dollars over asking in my in my area. And well, of course, it did. Technically, we know that. But the fact is, it was priced three hundred thousand dollars below what it should have been to begin with. So I, I do, I do. You, you might know, I, you might see. I, I do have a bit of an issue with that, um, you know, with that type of strategy. But you know, unfortunately, it's working, and that's predominantly what we're seeing out there. Uh, days on market to get a home sold, uh, seventeen days a year ago, eleven days in May. Currently trending at twelve. So, um, you know, if you have any questions on how this um, market update would. Uh, extrapolate to your Aurora home, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to answer any questions. Take care.